So here we're looking at a plastic model of the urinary system. And here we can see a kidney here. That would be the right kidney there, and then the left one here, a little bit higher up. We can see the adrenal or suprarenal glands sitting in the superior aspect of the kidneys there. But what's really cool is running down either side on the psoas major here, we can see a ureter. So there's a ureter either side, and they're running all the way down to the bladder. So here we can see the bladder from an anterior point of view here. So let's just zoom in a bit on the kidney on this model and have a look what we can see on this one. So here if we remove the anterior surface again we can see cortex being just inside the capsule there being the outer part of the kidney. We can see a pyramid here and we can see uh, probably the easiest one to see or the clearest one this would be a minor calyx here it's a little tricky to pinpoint the major calyces on here. We can see a couple of minor calyces up this end have come together. So we can say that this is a major calyx here. Then we can see the renal pelvis here and here where it's an enlarged tube before it narrows to become the ureter. So that's what we can see there with the kidney, but what we can also see on this model, we have a closer look at the bladder, and it's nice that we can actually remove the bladder eventually from this model. And please accept my apologies, it's been being held in with blue tack, so there's blue tack on various parts of it. But here we've got an anterior view of the bladder, but if we turn it around to look at it from a lateral point of view, we can see a ureter coming down to join the lateral wall of the bladder there. So that's a ureter there. But what we can also see on this model is there's something running along here. And this, this is not blue tack, this is a structure on the model. This is the ductus deferens. So that means we know immediately this is a male model. Uh, and what we can also see as well as that is this is a seminal gland here on the back of the bladder. And then inferior to the bladder, this is the prostate gland. So we can see that there. So that's ductus deferens, seminal gland, and prostate gland there. Now if we open up this bladder, we can see that there was a bit of space in there. So there was some, some urine held in there in the bladder. Not fully expanded, but not completely empty either. We can see that there's a urethra running from the inferior uh, part of the bladder, or the floor there of the bladder, running through the prostate gland. So we can see both those structures there again. Uh, so that's what we can spot on this model.